Hey guys, Robert 3D Prints Kit. In general, I've been getting a lot of questions about what tools you need to actually be successful with 3D printing. And the answer is you really don't need that many. And a lot of printers come with most of the basic tools you need, but there are some other ones that can help you be successful. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna go over what I consider to be the basic tools you will need, along with some extra ones like this Dremel that could provide a little bit of value, uh, but it's not something you would use day to day. I'm gonna to try to keep this video as short as I can, but I wanna make sure that I'm covering everything, so I still think it'll be uh, pretty short there overall. Uh, if you have any questions about what I covered or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you haven't already, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. All right, so first let's talk about the basics here. You're gonna need a set of Allen wrenches. Um, like the, a lot of the Creality printers come with a kit like this, which I have a couple uh, wrenches, some Allen wrenches, and a small flathead screwdriver. In a lot of cases, that's gonna be all you need. Um, if you want to, if you're gonna be doing a lot of modifications, you could get some Allen wrenches with uh, the T-handles. Uh, I found that can be useful in some situations, but not necessarily in all. So it really just depends uh, what you're doing. I would just keep an extra set of Allen wrenches around uh, just for various different sizes, because uh, it's definitely not one size fits all across the different printers. Um, but yeah, you are gonna need some Allen wrenches for the initial setup, tweaking, that kind of stuff. And then a lot of printers also come with a small flathead. Um, you don't really need to use it too often, but if you're doing a board swap or anything like that, you are gonna to have to use it. For example, here on my SKR Mini, you have to use a flathead for these screws here uh, for tightening down the uh, different adapters. You are gonna need a set of wrenches. Uh, if you have a Creality printer, it does come with the two that you need. Uh, there's two different sizes. You've got the one here that's for your hot end for the nozzle. Um, and then you've got a one that's a little bit larger here. Uh, this is for adjusting the eccentric nuts for uh, tightening up all the axes. Uh, so if you just have Creality printers, those two are just fine. Uh, but if you have a mix of different printers, you'll probably want to get a small set of wrenches. You don't need anything big or fancy, but if you're just getting started, you probably will want a small set. In addition to that, you're going to want some flat cutters like this. Um, like I mentioned, the Creality printers tend to come with them, but not a lot of the other ones do. They're mainly just used for cleanup on your prints, but they could have other uses as well, uh, which kind of goes into the next one, which is uh, needle nose tweezers. Uh, these I use quite a bit. Uh, anytime I'm purging the nozzle or anything like that, or I will grab the filament off with these. Um, sometimes if I'm cleaning up a print, I'll also do that. Uh, but there's just a bunch of miscellaneous use cases that come up where these actually come in handy quite a bit. The next thing you're going to want is a kit or some sort of needles to clean out a clogged nozzle. I like the kit because it kind of keeps everything together and it has a bunch of the needles in there. Um, this one specifically is size specific, so it's for 0.4 millimeter nozzles. You can get ones that are for multiple different sizes, uh, but then you have to keep track of which needles for what. Uh, so I kind of like them to be separate. Uh, it comes with, like I said, a bunch of needles and then um, needle nose tweezers as well just to help clean out the nozzle. But anytime you get a clog or something, you are going to need to use it. Uh, some of the printers do come with a single one. I think the Creality typically comes with one, um, but those get lost, uh, especially because they're just standalone. So uh, something like this isn't expensive and it's well worth having. The next two items are more related to cleanup. Uh, I like to have some sandpaper around. I have the squares here because I have a sander that I use the squares on. Uh, but typically I have 120 and 220 grit sandpaper. I use the 120 for anything a little bit rough and then 220 to kind of clean it up a little bit more. I don't typically use anything lower than the 120 because at that point I'll just be using something else to clean it up and then using the sandpaper afterwards. Um, but that goes into the next item here, which is a small set of X-Acto knives. Uh, this is good for cleaning up any like bigger parts on the print or just cutting them off and then you can use the sandpaper to kind of clean it up. So these kind of go hand in hand. Now, if you wanted to as well, you could get a Dremel like this, which is why I said this is an optional thing. Um, you can get cutters, different polishing tips, um, sandpaper tips and stuff. Uh, so which really makes the job of cleaning up the parts a lot easier, uh, but it is a more expensive option. So if it's something you're not doing all the time, it's definitely not needed, uh, just something to consider. Then the next item you're gonna wanna have around is a putty knife. Uh, these can be useful to help get prints off of the print bed if they're stuck. 
Um, I noticed that most of the time when I end up using it, if I would have just let the print cool down more, it would have probably been not needed. Uh, but if you're in a hurry and you don't have one of the magnetic pads, we can kind of just pop it off. Uh, these can help quite a bit and they're not expensive at all. Uh, the next item I consider to be a must-have is a set of digital calipers like these. I don't think they were much, they're probably like 10 or $15, uh, but it's important when you're trying to calibrate your printer. Uh, if you're trying to use a ruler or something like that, you're just not going to get proper measurements. Uh, so having a good set of calipers does help. Um, just think about calibrating your E-steps, maybe some of the flow for your walls, that kind of stuff or even just the overall print size, if you're questioning that. Uh, I use them quite a bit, and like I said, they're not expensive, like 10 or 15 bucks, and you can use them for a lot of other things. And then the last item I have here is really more of an accessory, not really a tool, but if you're having bed adhesion issues um, and you're sure that the bed is level, I'll check that first, make sure your bed's level. Uh, you can use a little bit of this to help make sure the part sticks. Uh, you can also use uh, glue sticks or hairspray or something, but I just, this stuff works better for me. Uh, I don't really use it on a lot of the magnetic print surfaces because it's not really needed. Uh, sometimes more on glass if it's not clean. Uh, but I notice a lot of times if it is needed, the bed's not level all the way. Uh, but if you have the bed level and you're still having issues, um, then a little bit of bed weld will help quite a bit. All right, guys, so I hope that covers what I think are like the bare minimum tools that you need to really uh, get started with 3D printing. Uh, it, you don't need much, uh, and it's a lot of people like to overcomplicate it, but the reality of it is you just need a couple tools. A lot of it's for cleanup. You need some things for uh, the printer itself for maintenance and then uh, for calibration, but the rest of it's more cleanup type uh, tooling, and it's not expensive to get what you need to get started. Um, like I mentioned in the video, uh, some of the printers do come with some of these, uh, but I know a lot of you guys are getting printers second or third hand and it, it doesn't come with anything or you have to fix them. So in those situations, uh, this lineup here minus the Dremel is pretty much what you're going to want to get at least to get started. If you want to get the Dremel, it's good to have too. I don't use it too much for cleanups, but I know a lot of people that do, especially if you're working on uh, miniatures, you can use the polishing tips quite a bit to just help uh, smooth things out quite a bit. But yeah, if you have any questions about what I covered here or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.